Shalom, shalom. Okay, let's do this. So back in the land before time, the earth was a very different place from how we know it now. One of those differences is the amount of oxygen on the planet. Back then, the oxygen levels were much higher and animals could grow much bigger than they do now. One example is dragonflies. In modern times, the dragonfly typically has an 8-inch wingspan, but in prehistoric times, dragonflies had a 28-inch wingspan. These different conditions is also why the dinosaurs could grow to be so incredibly big. Not only did animals grow much larger back then, but so did plants and trees. So the community of tree deniers believe that all of the trees that originally existed, all of the giant trees that were here in prehistoric times that are gone now, um, were the only trees. And that what we know of as trees now would actually just be considered like shrubbery compared to what actual true trees were. So they believe that there are no true trees left on the planet, just these like smaller shrub versions that we know of as trees. There's also a whole subsect of this community that believes that things like plateaus out west are actually tree stumps of ancient, enormous trees. I've also seen videos where they believe that mountain ranges are actually the petrified stumps of trees that were knocked over or fell over, whereas plateaus would be trees that were cut down. But Coley, what could cut down a tree that is that giant from prehistoric times? So this theory ties in with the Nephilim theory from the Bible that at some point in time, giants were created on the earth and continued to live for many, many, many generations. And some people believe that giants are still alive today. So I can understand why people would think that the modern, smaller versions of trees that we have are not actual, like, true or authentic trees compared to the trees of the past. So if you're bored and looking for a rabbit hole, check out Tree Deniers because you'll get prehistoric information, you'll get giants, Nephilim, petrified tree stumps, mud floods. I forgot about that one. So if you're a mud flood fan, this is a theory for you to check out.